Hey, welcome to another TARDIS building video. I just want to make this really quick video. I have a couple parts to show you that I've been working on. Mostly what happens uh, during the week is I get a little bit of time to tinker, add in, or drill a couple holes in order to put some controls in. So I want to show you a couple of ones that I've actually been working for for a while, and that is on the mechanical panel, the faders, and the radio piece. So to start off, we're gonna talk about the faders. Now the cool thing with the faders is, as I've mentioned before, um, they were semi-identified. We haven't, we don't know what they exactly are, who made them or anything like that. Uh, they are very similar to these ones over here, which we'll be going to through in the next video uh, series for this, uh, which I'm really excited to discuss with you guys. But we don't know what they're from now. We did find Electro Props in the UK does have some, uh, but they would unfortunately not sell them to me. So what I did, what they do is rent them. So me along with David Nagel, who's another great TARDIS console builder who actually tours with his console. I put the, I'm gonna put his link in the comments below. It's fantastic. So if you're in the UK, you probably have seen this console at an event or a convention. Um, we rented one of the bits, went through, measured, cast, did everything we could to try and get these to be completely accurate, which then allowed me to uh, 3D model the, the tips and the, the actual casing for it, uh, laser etched at Fab Lab, the inserts on a, on a stock that can actually curve and bend, which is really cool, uh, and then kind of construct it together. Now, my actual model is way more detailed as you're seeing here. It's got a lot of uh, potentiometers and gears and such, just like the original. This one though, I just, I just have it with the nuts and bolts, just because for what I'm doing for it, it doesn't have to be functional, but as you're looking here inside the console, it's just kind of the bare minimum, but it really works, and I'm, I'm really happy with, with how well it works, so. Next up is the radio top. Now this was just a couple pieces of acrylic, uh, mainly getting this pattern based from an old radio, uh, doing it two layers of acrylic, gluing them together, painting them to match kind of the same texture as the old radio here, and then of course putting some uh, mesh, actually just like screen door mesh and then give it that kind of radio look. So I'm really happy with this. It just looks more like the TARDIS console, but I'm undecided if I actually want to keep that on there. Uh, it is just top stick. I can pull it off if I want to. So if I decide I don't like it or if I prefer the other way, because it does kind of get in the way when you're kind of playing with it, um, I can easily remove it. But yeah, I just want to show you guys those few things. Like I said, uh, uh, just to do little minor things here and there as, as the weeks go on. And I'm going to have more and more minor things as I go. So I look forward to talking to you about these guys next week. Uh, those faders and maybe how they're related but anyways if you guys have any comments questions you want to know more about what i'm doing here or these parts specifically ask me down below they will be available coming up on etsy in the next couple months for those of you who want to print them and make them yourselves anyway guys thank you so much for for following along so far with this build to bring it to this point i'm really excited and i, I, th I thank you guys for subscribing and liking but most of all thanks for watching